Welcome back uh, to our special coverage. Uh, would background checks have made a significant difference uh, in Aurora or Newtown or at Virginia Tech? See, as Joe Johns has been taking a closer look at this question for us. What are you seeing, Joe? Uh, probably not, Wolf. That's the bottom line. If you look at Newtown, Adam Lanza, the shooter there, essentially got his weapons from his mother, who was the registered owner. She also purchased them. Um, he actually killed her as his first victim. Probably not Aurora, although the shooter there actually uh, was diagnosed by a psychiatrist as dangerous. Uh, that never made it into the system. In fact, you almost have to go all the way back to 2007 and Virginia Tech before you find uh, an instance where uh, background checks could have made a difference. But in that case, the shooter slipped through the cracks. So this proposal uh, that the senators have brought forward is helpful, Wolf, in the sense that it's supposed to clarify that submissions of mental health records into the national instant check system actually uh, are not prohibited by federal law. That certainly is helpful, but the larger issue here is the criteria used to determine who is dangerous, uh, mentally ill, and should not get a gun, the so-called prohibitors. That's something the Justice Department is trying to take a careful look at to determine who shouldn't get into the system. It's a very hard question, Wolf. Cer certainly is, Joe. Thanks for that.